Hey everyone, so welcome to Red Out. Uh, I figured it would be time to change things up a little bit this week. We'll be going back to automation again next week, so don't worry about that. It's actually going to be automation on Wednesday, and then my summer car coming out on Saturday. But for now, let's play some Red Out. Uh, I've been actually playing it a bit. You might have seen the gameplay in the background of my recent Q&A, but I'm going to try the career. Uh, previously, I was just doing quick races, just kind of messing around. Uh, so let's get started with this. I don't exactly know how it's going to go. I know the career is pretty extensive. We're going to ignore most of the audio dialogue, and then if there's any story, we'll be ignoring that too. Uh, I think what I want to do, though, is we'll go with this brand of ship. I believe the way this game works is you need to carry forward with your brand and sort of build them up. Uh, and I just like the way these ships look, so let's go with these ones. Well, I've got an achievement, and uh, I've got a profile now, so it seems like I'm ready to go. Looks like we can get some money, and uh, this is a track I've done before, so hopefully I can do well. Um, it's all about time in this one, so maybe, <laughs> I guess it's probably just a tutorial. Either way, let's keep going. Thanks to my new computer, I'm able to play this game at uh, 2K 144Hz, which is pretty nice, but my goodness, uh, it's gorgeous. Like, max settings right now um, at 2K 144Hz, it just looks great. Okay, and immediately we're into a tutorial. So strafe, uh, strafe right, I've been doing that already game. Uh, so you can boost, you can strafe, it's basically like Wipeout. Uh, the game describes itself as Wipeout in F-Zero, and that's basically what it is. So we're building up energy in the bar on the right, and uh, I can unleash that by clicking A, and that's basically just a boost. I like to do it sort of around corners or when you have to slow down a little bit definitely helps out to uh, to get you out of corners faster. Now this game is obviously extremely arcadey, it's a, it's a spaceship racing game, I don't know what else I can say. I mean we're gonna go around a loop here. Okay so pitch up around the loop, uh, I can do that. <laughs> uh, that's actually something I didn't know before because I kinda didn't do the tutorial when I was uh, getting footage for the last video. There are also these boost pads on the ground as I've just run through and uh, these, I mean they're boost pads, they make you go faster. But you also have to watch your health, because uh, if you crash into anything, then you're going to damage yourself. And I think you do heal over time, because, um, or at least every lap or something like that, uh, because I did manage to get down to 10% a few times throughout my gameplay. And I died once, but yeah, just not enough, as, as though I think I should have. <laughs> Alright, so we have to remember to pitch properly, although, again, don't exactly know what I'm doing. I believe you have to pitch up and down based on um, what kind of slope you're on. That's at least the gist of what I got away from uh, from that tutorial message. We'll see though. At least on the loop for sure we need to have the pitch up. So I'll keep up with that. It looks like we might actually make the gold medal time here, which would be pretty sweet. But I think you can see what I mean with this game's... Uh, it, it's very much wears it on its sleeve that it's inspired by uh, Wipeout and F-Zero. I have actually played a decent amount of Wipeout, specifically Wipeout Pure on the PSP, so I'm a little bit of a late joiner to the franchise, but I enjoyed my time with it. I was terrible at it, especially as a kid, and I can't say that I'm any better now, but yeah, it's uh, definitely more fun now than it used to be. Like the PSP version, I basically didn't know what was happening because the resolution was so low back in those days, but I thought it was fun. And now that I can see everything, I still don't know what's going on. Like I'm not exactly a driving game connoisseur. Uh, however, I am downloading Forza Horizon 4 right now, so look forward to that this month for sure. It's gonna be good. But when it comes to spaceship racing, I'm definitely a noob. Uh, just trying out some different games here and there. Uh, this game was actually given to me for free by the developer, so thank you for that. Yeah, there we go. It looks like we actually got the gold medal. Nice. And we got some money, some XP. Not bad. Well, I don't really know what's going on yet, but it seems that we're doing pretty well so far. 59 second run, they only expected a 102, so at least I'm ahead there. Alright, pilot level has increased to 2. I don't know if that's just my character or the ship itself, but uh, looks like we're going on to the next event. This one apparently is about position. 2 laps, 6300 bucks. Let's do it. Oh yeah, I know we actually have opponents in this one. I haven't actually, I know that this game has weapons, uh, I believe this is a pure race so there are no weapons, but it does have weapons that you can use uh, to take out your opponents. Uh, so far though, I haven't used them, I tried one race with them and I didn't really know what I was doing, so hopefully the tutorial will teach us that eventually, but 
for now so far it's just pure racing and I really don't mind. So there is a bit of a technique to the boost meter because it, the longer you leave it the more powerful the boost you get. So if I want to boost less but more with more powerful boosts then I can do that or if I want to boost a little bit with a slightly less powerful boost then I can do that as well. Uh, but either way. We're just going to be boosting the whole trip here. So conveniently, they've given us the exact same track that we've raced on in the past one. I guess, I mean, we're still in the tutorial. Let's be real. So they just want you to get used to the game controls and everything. But I've already played this game for an hour, so I'm kind of used to it. Very much interested to see what else it has to hold for us. Oh yeah, it's worth noting that this is the Enhanced Edition. I believe that there is still DLC for the Enhanced Edition, but I don't know what differences there are between the regular and enhanced. As far as I know, the enhanced is the only one that's for sale, if there are even two anymore. So I guess I can talk a little bit about what I had said before, like this this game was given to me for free. But the thing is, like, this is a game that I've been wanting to play for a while. I didn't just take it because it's like, oh, free. It was more like this was in my Steam wish list for over a year, and I was uh, waiting for a deep sale to buy it, and now I have an opportunity to play it. I'm not going to turn that down, so that's kind of what happened. Alright, so we got first place like really easily there. I don't think this is my skill, I just think it's the early part of the game and that's why it's letting us get away with this. I've heard that this game gets extremely difficult, uh, especially once you get to the second second like set of vehicles there. Uh, so let's go on to this one. We need a gold time of 45 seconds. Let's see if we can do this one. Alright, this appears to be a different track. Oh, this is a completely different track. I don't think I've actually done this one at all. Uh, but let's get off the line here and see if I can do well in this time trial. We have three chances to get a 45 second run on a track that I've never done before. So <laughs> this might be interesting. All right, so so far I'm crashing into pretty much every wall. I'm not doing great. We'll see what this first time is. Uh, ooh, this is a very large banked corner here. Some super elevation right there. And I missed the boost pad. Whoops. Okay, seems like we're getting at least green on the checkpoint, so we're doing uh, a faster time than we were before, probably owing to our uh, like moving start there. And slowly that lead is decreasing. Oh, longest jump ever. I'm breaking my own records here. Final lap. We only get one more chance. Oh, my best time has already gotten the gold medal. Okay, I don't actually need to try anymore. <laughs> See, it seems like average time might even be more of a challenge than best, like, if I had to maintain my score over the course of, like, five laps or something, that could be a challenge. But the best time? Not too hard. Thankfully, at least. I'm sure it's gonna get hard, though. I'm very sure. And off the jump again. This is a huge jump. You can boost in air as well. Not bad. Looks like we might have gotten another gold, but by... A very slim margin. Well, I'm increasing with every single race. I don't think that's going to continue. Uh, so we're doing another one here. This is a class one pure race, two laps, and it's about position. So now we're racing again with people. We'll see how this one goes. Yeah, it looks like they're just doing the same pattern over and over. You time trial the track, and then you race on it with people. Let's see how this goes, though. I think I'm going to do okay. On the last one, I just blew past just like that, and then stayed in the lead for the entire time. It seems like that's just how it's going to be. I should mention again that I have the AI on medium. Uh, they're not on expert, they're not on easy. This is the regular difficulty. Maybe this game is just trying to like lure you in like, ooh, you're doing so well, keep playing, and then it'll just hit you with the hard stuff later. Ooh, that is a heck of a corner there. Not No amount of turning and banking and such can get me around it uh, without slowing down. But goodness, this is a fast track. 39 seconds. And that wasn't even a flying lap. On the store page for this game, they claim that it's the fastest game ever made. I really doubt it. Uh, maybe in their terms of speed, like going 800 kilometers an hour is uh, pretty fast. Um, I do have it on metric units, but I don't like it. Doesn't mean much with metric units in sci-fi. <laughs> Same thing with any units in spaceships. Like, can we really quantify that? Anyway, first place again. Another gold medal to add to the stack. 25 G's in the bank. And it looks like <laughs> we're going to keep on this roll. So this one's a last man standing, and I'm kind of worried. There are four opponents, four laps. It might be a knockout race, because uh, I don't see any weapons. And it hasn't really trained us on how to do weapons yet. I'm assuming it's a knockout, but we shall see. Okay, that's got to be a weapon of some kind. <laughs> Never mind, it seems like... I'm uh, just missing a weapon. This is one of those games that really feels like you never need to use the brake. 
Uh, although I probably should be breaking more than I have been. I really haven't used it at all. Okay, that is that digital effect is like... It makes it really hard to see on a game that's already pretty cluttered. Maybe I was supposed to equip a power up there. I might have missed that, but it seems like these people are using some uh, cheat codes now. All right, so it is a knockout race. The guy behind me just got knocked out, or one of them behind me at least. I'm in second place currently. Going to have to stay this way for a while now. There's still only... I mean, there are four people left, but we need to come in first, I assume, so... Almost done it. There we go. Okay, he hit the boost pad and I didn't. That is just simply unfortunate. And uh, through once again, not too bad. Off the ramp, I'm at half health, which is not great. Um, <laughs> I'm just bouncing into walls and uh, I'm injuring myself. But slowly getting health back, I hope. I'm currently in second out of third, so uh, there's one person behind me, but the next lap, I'm going to have to get in front of this guy, otherwise I'm done. And that's it for my first place streak. I definitely would say that I'm struggling with this track. I have managed to pass him, but uh, we're pretty neck and neck here. And again, he hits the boost pad and I don't, so that's a pretty significant disadvantage on my part here. And over the boost, <laughs> over the river, and through the woods, across the jump we go. And that guy's eliminated, which means I am going to be eliminated next if I don't catch up to this lad. And we've got to go as fast as possible here. Oh, I'm boosting a lot more than I should be, but I'm also really suffering around these corners. I'm not sure if the red is supposed to indicate just corner, or if it's to indicate you should probably start using the strife around this corner, uh, but I'm not sure. Alright, this time we're not going to miss the boost. There we go. But it looks like that's going to be it for me, unless this guy makes a drastic mistake, uh, because I am pretty far back on a pretty short course. Well, <laughs> our streak was pretty short, but uh, it was fun while it lasted. That's a second place for me. Now we have money. I guess we should probably try and upgrade. So we can get magnets, turbine. I don't even know what this stuff does. Apparently it's increasing our stats, but uh, well, we have money, we may as well start it. Although thinking about it, we are very close to buying a class two ship, which is just better overall. So that would be pretty sweet. I think what we're gonna do is just wait it out one more race. Uh, we'll grab that class two ship and then we will uh, continue on. I don't know if we can even use it in this series or not, but maybe it'll just be a flat-out upgrade. We'll see. Uh, this one is a time attack on the Frozen Speedway. I've done this track before, so I should be able to do well on this one, theoretically. Uh, we don't need that extra power or anything just yet, although it would be helpful. Uh, not getting upgrades is definitely hurting me uh, in the long term, but... Ooh. Okay, I forgot just how busy this map is. So we need to hit a lap time of 44 seconds on this lap, or on this map, uh, which is, again, going to be a bit of a challenge. I have raced this one quite a bit, uh, just getting ready for that one video I did, maybe 10 laps on this track, maybe a few more than that. So I should be relatively familiar. That being said, let's see what our first time is. First lap time is 48 seconds. That's my new personal lap record. That's not looking good. Uh, that's only good enough for a bronze. Uh, we're going to need to do better than that. I find whenever I'm breaking around corners, I'm just uh, slowing myself down. Like, it's almost always better to strife and maybe tap the corner just a little bit. I wonder if there are some, like, much more technical circuits down the line that you actually have to break in. But for these early stages, like, there are very few spots where you really have to stop. Uh, around that corner just there, what I, which I took pretty poorly uh, you might need to but again maybe that's only for faster ships i'm not 100 percent all right 47 seconds that's 47.3 so that is enough for a silver i'll take it but i'd love to get a gold if possible uh, it would be amazing one thing i really like is the way that your ship moves as you move it moves dynamically based on your strifing based on your turning if you break it sort of holds in on itself it's pretty cool i like the little details like that Unfortunately, I am oh, just as ever so slightly faster. I really need to gain three seconds, and that's just not going to happen in our current state. Uh, maybe if I had the upgraded ship, I would be able to do just a little bit better. But yeah, it's going to be close, but not close enough. And that's it. 46.5 on the final lap. That's two and a half seconds away. But second place is still good. All right, all right. This might make us into... <laughs> this might give us some issues is what I'm trying to say. Oh, keep racing to unlock. Oh, I'm level 5, I'm not high enough level. 
Okay, fine. You know what? I'm impatient enough here. Let's go ahead and just upgrade the heck out of this thing just because we can. So let's go whatever that is. I'm guessing we can only get one of each of these. So the ship can only be upgraded four times, uh, but we should be able to make that money back decently. Uh, but here we go. We've got full upgrades. Let's try out the ship now and see if we're any better. All right, this is a pure time attack run. So it looks like it's just going to be us uh, versus the clock once again, as usual. Uh, but we have a bit more speed, hopefully. I mean, it's very small, uh, but again, it was only 3,500, so uh, we're getting close. Wow, okay, then maybe it wasn't that small. This feels a lot faster, uh, but maybe with a few more upgrades on uh, a much faster ship, we can really see some improvement in these times. At least I'm hoping so. Class 2 is probably going to be a bit spooky, uh, but we'll see. As long as you can keep yourself off the walls, this game kind of makes you look like you're good at it, but... I am the first to admit that I'm not good at this game. All right, coming around this corner with a little bit of speed there. Kind of cut it. Uh, probably not the most optimal way to take it again. Definitely need a lot more practice. Oh, 39 seconds. That's not good enough. <laughs> We're going to have to do better than that. But that is a good enough for a silver medal. I want to gain two seconds somehow. I don't know if that's possible. I'm wondering if they just make these times for generic. Like every ship has these times to beat. Uh, because some of the ships are faster than others, so if you can control them better, then it makes sense that you'd be able to do well in the time trials. But like this ship, for instance, I believe its strength was its actual strength, which is good for me because I tend to break things, but it's also bad because then we're likely slower due to our increased strength. Either way, though, second place, cannot complain. And we haven't hit level 6 yet, so we're still going. Uh, another race to do here. This is a class one race, three laps. Well, let's do it. All right, so we've got six opponents and I'm currently in last. Well, not anymore. This is an interesting track though. Goodness, I like these icy ones uh, or crystals. I don't know, a combination of the two. Wow, this is actually very nice. Not really paying attention to the scenery as we fly by it though at like 600 Ks an hour <laughs> and crashing into walls constantly, but still managing to stay in second. No, well, I, sh I could have items. I mean, I don't know if I can buy them or not yet, but we'll try that soon. We'll see if we can actually use some of these power-ups, whatever they might be. Oh, okay, I just ran off the track. Well, I beat my lap record, but I'm in fifth, so that's not saying much. Um, I believe my lap record was just not set uh, because I don't think I've done this track before. Hopefully I've unlocked them for the free mode, though, because, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Could try and play this game online too, but uh, we'll just stick to the campaign for now, try and get used to it. All right, a little bit farther into race here. I am currently in third and got to make sure to actually land on the track this time. That is a bit deceiving there if you go off the wrong way, but uh, 41 seconds, that is pretty fast. Still, this is not a timed race. We really do need to uh, get first place if we want that nice golden uh, medal. Ooh. It's hard to do around some of these corners though. Yikes, that is dangerous. That is equally dangerous. I am mildly afraid. And off the jump we go again. Land on the track. And across the line, first place. Not bad. Ooh, level six. That means ship class level two is unlocked. Uh, but we're gonna continue on with the class one thing. Maybe some of them are only class one? Oh no, looks like we only have two more class one events or three more class one events left and then we'll be moving on to class two events for now at least i'm sure there's more apparently there's also dlc but um we'll skip that for now power-ups i don't have any um <laughs> probably should get some so we have passive power-ups which is pretty sweet and then we also have active power-ups uh which i have not been using but i definitely should have been energy drainers stuff like this and then over here we have like uh, boost and things but they won't work in a lot of the um, the other modes i think what i'm gonna do is go for augmented propeller uh, so i'll buy that one yeah it looks like it has stages so i could be able to upgrade it as well uh, so upgrade on the upgrade for even more money yikes this is getting a little bit deep here but instead of that i think what i'm going to do is get one of the active ones this repair drone seems like it could be incredibly useful for me because i'm always getting damaged so i'm gonna grab that and then we have so much money that i figure we should probably uh upgrade this i haven't even tried it yet but i'm already upgrading it to level three let's give that a go on this event and see what we can do 
We might need to farm up some cash because, uh, <laughs> level two. We don't have a level two ship yet. All right, so it looks like we need to get some... Okay, I don't actually know what's going on here. Uh, we'll figure it out though. So my target speed is 700 and it looks like I need to stay above that to subtract from my score. And then that way I'll be, um, like my, my time is the time that I'm under 700, I guess. So I need to stay above 700 to get the score. Okay, figured it out. <laughs> Took me a while there, but I got it. It looks like we got 10 point, <laughs> come on, 10.144 seconds. Goodness, I was so close. That was very, very good though. Uh, that's a lot of fun actually. Winning the next event driving this engineering ship with a level one. Uh, so I get a power up. Well, we'll try it. I don't know what this is gonna do, but apparently we have to win this event. We need to get a gold time of 41.5 seconds. Let's see if we can do it. All right, pure time attack. We've got three laps to get 41.5 seconds. <laughs> or at least under that. Somewhere around that would be great. <laughs> so far, not so great, but uh, I will try. <laughs> Yikes, I haven't been on this track before, so I don't know what I'm doing, but uh, we will continue to go here. Oh yeah, I don't usually play music in my videos, but for this game you kind of need to. Uh, it has a dynamic soundtrack. I don't know how loud it's going to be or how quiet, just because I usually turn it down a lot. But, whoa, that is really hard to maintain there. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, can't talk while doing a double loop, sorry. But yeah, soundtrack in this game, good. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Uh, did I just get 43 seconds? Not bad. I think it's possible then to get that 41. And I just killed myself. Never mind. Okay, so it seems like it's going to be lap 3 where we have to get that 41 second run. Uh, that's going to be the only way we actually get it. <laughs> At least I think so. I was forgetting before that around loops and things I need to be up. I uh, totally forgot about that. Tilting is definitely an important part of the game that I was not considering before, but I should have been. Yikes, this loop is just absolutely insane. If you have motion sickness, it's probably... you're probably already not even here, but... Uh, this game is not for you. Okay, that was a 43 second run, but this lap here is the only chance I have to secure whatever upgrade that was. Uh, still, I need to do better than I have ever done before on this track. And I also need to not die, so yeah, we've got some work to do. Okay, my health is pretty low. Whoa. But let's just hope I don't die on this um, massive loop here coming off of it. It is really hard to drive it straight, I will say. And made it. 41.7. Okay, that's, uh, <laughs> again, extremely close to gold, but I'll take the silver. And I failed that contract because I did not get the uh the win anyway let's keep going i'm just gonna keep doing races for a bit here and I've, obviously i forgot to put my um item into the active slot there we go got it in hopefully that works and it did all right let's try this race tournament three events let's try it 11 grand in the bank all right let's do this tournament and then i guess that'll be it for this video i don't even know how to use my power-ups but uh i should probably look that up all right power up is rb or X. Uh, so we'll be able to use X for sure. And repair drum. Not bad. So it just comes in and repairs you. Looks like I'm going to need that a lot though. Uh, some of these tracks are just <laughs> dangerously narrow. Uh, this one though, having done it before, I think I should be okay. It's just those new tracks. Gotta watch out for them. Okay, it looks like I have to hold it. Yeah, I have to hold it to keep repairing myself. I don't know, though. It might just be blasting me over and over with a repair serum or something. Well, it's only two laps, so that is um, pretty nice. We are actually just moving now. I'm thinking if we went back and tried some of the older time trials with these new upgrades, we'd probably be able to get them, especially the ones where it was like, oh. <laughs> especially the ones where it was really close, like where I was just extremely close uh, to getting the gold, like a couple tenths of a second or something like that. And that is how it is in racing, but uh, yeah, these upgrades we might be able to help with that. All right, that's done. Got third place. Not great, but still not bad. Um, we should be able to, assuming this is a couple rounds in this tournament, uh, we should be able to do okay. Six points, third place. All right, next one. And it's this track. Uh, <laughs> Immediately, I'm getting damaged by somebody. Thank you for that, whoever you are. 
Uh, but let's just keep going here. Try to get better than third place. Obviously, third isn't going to get us any championship titles, but... I mean, podium finish isn't bad either. And off the massive jump we go. Not going to miss this one. Boosting in the air as well. Longest jump ever. <laughs> Broke my record from before in this video. Uh, but we have still some ground to cover. We're only doing two laps per course, which is like barely anything. Uh, if you fall behind, then you have no chance of catching up in this game. Uh, you really have to get out in front quickly and keep it there. Uh, but yeah, two laps, goodness. Well, one thing about that though is that the tournaments go pretty quick. And that's not a bad thing. I think this is where we lost one of the previous races. Yeah, it definitely is. I remember that corner. Uh, but hopefully this time we can claim a victory. Oh, this one, not gonna hit a building again, and first place. All right, one more race, I believe. Let's keep this one going. We uh, are currently... Okay, buddy. <laughs> I guess these people have that one where it's sort of supposed to blind your vision. I don't know what that does for AI, though, because it kind of doesn't really do anything. It's like the squid in Mario Kart. Like, <laughs> if you do that to AI, it doesn't matter because they're AI. <laughs> I don't know what kind of code the game has to, to figure that out, but maybe effective in multiplayer, but I don't know. I haven't had to use my repair drone yet. I guess it might be a situational power-up. Uh, currently, though, having this maximum speed increase is really nice. Uh, it's good to be able to go fast. It's good to be able to jump out ahead. Acceleration as well is really important. Uh, but goodness, this track is gorgeous. Oh yeah, nice straight here as well. And another huge jump. Almost missed it. I was really co close to jumping off the track. Can't say I have d haven't done that before. Some of the arrows on the track kind of messed me up, but it's almost better just to avoid looking at those. It looks like we're upside down and then turn twisting around and stuff. Just don't look at the background. Uh, just look at the ship. That's my only advice so far. This game would probably be really good with a joystick. Uh, like if you were actually trying to pilot it as though it was a plane or something. Uh, just grab the joystick and like use the tilt controls to tilt it back and forth. I guess you could use like a trigger or something to make it go forward and maybe a stick on your left hand to turn it. Not sure. And it looks like that's another first place for us. So third, first, first. Hopefully that's good enough for a first. Overall at least. It'd be nice to bank that $11,000. And yeah, we're currently in first and that means first place overall. Nice. Can't complain about that. And level 8. That's not bad, but that's going to be it for this video. It's been a good video, though. It's been fun to try out some different games uh, and try different things, I guess. Getting away from the normal channel stuff is something I've wanted to do for a while. Like, I don't want to be trapped in beam automation, so that's kind of what this is about. Before you go too far, I've got some people that I need to thank. Canadian Steel, Slow Fried Chicken 69, Overlord, Justin, and that Riced Out Explorer. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. I appreciate it a lot. And that's it for this video. Again, automation coming up next week. And back to my summer car. It's going to be great. See you then.